to the AM Cuzzles. We are back with another video. And didn't I tell y'all? I told y'all. Your girl was going to look different on Wednesday video, baby. I'm feeling myself. The girl just got her hair did. And it's it's giving every bit of, um, she looks 12. But listen, she looks clean. She's good. She's cute and whatnot. Anywho, you guys are here for today's video. And that is how to communicate with an SA or how to accept or how to establish a good relationship with an SA. If that's something you're interested in and want to watch, continue to watch. This is okay, action. Okay, I go by Zoe. Zoe Ray Artistry. All right, I am Zoe. Go by Zoe Ray Artistry. And All right, let's go. Action. <laughs> Action. All right, cause nah, I just need to get loose. I wish I had a glass of wine. All right, welcome back, cousins. For those who are new here, I am Zoe Zoe Ray Artistry. I talk about a little bit of fashion, vlogging lifestyle beauty and hell whatever else i feel like talking about from time to time and today we're going to be talking about how to form or start a relationship with an essay now i know people like to say they got their own personal essay this is my essay that's my essay and for those who don't know what an essay is it's a sell associate it's those who have a direct connect to you for your luxury goods or it was or they will give you the loop they will tell you when sales start they will you know help you out now you can start with an essay and you know keep keep continue to go to one particular person or you can have millions of essays it depends on you but me personally i don't i don't like to say my essay because it's not like i got these 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 um employees on speed dial I just communicate with a few and I like the vibes. So I feel like I have enough experience or a little to enough experience to let you know how to, you know, communicate with an SA, how to build a relationship with, a, with an SA and all that good stuff. So first thing first, when you are establishing a relationship with the SA, one, you need to be uh, polite. Okay, don't go in there with the ego. Don't go in there thinking because you in this store, you got all the money, it's give me this, give me this, give me that, all that. I used to work in retail, okay? So, our attitude goes a long way. I used to work for this store called Lomas. It's no longer there. If you're in the DMV area, you should know about Lomas or Wisconsin Avenue. And in that whole little area, it's more so like the rich people. Little do they know, that was my part-time. It wasn't my full-time. It was a part-time, meaning it was just play money. But the way people used to come in there and talk to us as if we was nothing to them, like we were below the below to them. They would come in there like they just so uppity that they got all the money in the world and they would talk to us very rude. And I quit. I quit because one, like I said, it was a part time and I didn't have to take it. I didn't have to take none of that. Like you would have people coming in there and no offense if my cousin was, you know, Caucasian, but you would have them coming in there and say, what? Y'all, that is a pet peeve of mine. Do not want me. It's, un excuse me, I'm sorry I didn't hear you or I'm sorry, can you repeat yourself? But don't want me. If you want me, I will go off. Do you hear me? So people will come in there, they will what you, they will look at you like, you know, I know what I'm doing. Like, say all that. Look, we are all the same. We all spend our money the same, brother. It's high and or low end. Have respect for the person that you're in front of because at the end of the day, we are here to help you. You ain't here to help us. Although we're getting paid, but we're not getting paid off commission. Now, I don't know if some of these high end stores are getting paid off commission. I think so. I'm not sure. But for what I've been told, it ain't that much to be talking crazy, okay? So, have respect when you go in there. Just, hello, how you doing? My name is such and such, and I'm looking for a particular item. Off the break, you would know if that SA has a good vibe 
or if the essay just having a shitty vibe, or if the vibe just off. Because don't don't get me wrong, there are. I try to give a lot of people benefit of the doubt. Retail is a lot. You're dealing with a lot of personality, and then that type of establishment, because you you're uh, having this luxury experience, they have to put on this. <clears throat> excuse me. They have to put on this big smile. Even if they're feeling bad, even if they're going through a moment, they have to put on a smile for us. So I try to go in there with the polite and the decent vibe because you just don't know how other people vibe. And on top of that, energy transfer. So if you go in there polite, then you're going to find a polite essay. So go in there polite, you know, with the good vibes, and you'll be all right. Number two, don't go in there wasting people's time. All right? Plain and simple. Go in there, either be honest. It's also be honest with your essay. If you're going in there to look, just say, look, me, my personality, look, I'm just looking today. I'm going to be honest with you, you know? I just want to see some things. I saw some things online. I want to see how I look in person. I want to be able to try it on. I want to see if it's really my style before I put all this money into it. I want to give myself 20 to, 24 to 48 hours to really sit and think. So, I appreciate you helping me, but yeah, this is just a try on situation. If this ain't going ahead, saying I'm getting it, knowing damn well I ain't getting it. You know, because right then and there, they're going to look at you like, oh, oh, here she come again. She's coming in here just to try stuff on and not really buy it, because then they're not going to come to you. You got to go in there and be honest with them people. Like, look, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to try this on. Okay, I'm just going to try it on. I don't want to waste your time, but I just want to give a feel. And then that off, right off the break with that type of conversation, you're setting your vibe, you're setting your tone, you're setting your energy, you're letting these people know, I'm not here to waste your time. However, I still want to see this product. Or oh, I'm sorry. Three, if you are in there for a certain budget, stick to your budget. Your essay would love to just go straight for what you need and not for what you in there to be playing around with. If you know you in there for a uh, $400 budget or $500 budget and you need to stay within that SLG mark, take me straight to the SLG. Like, it's okay to be honest, y'all. I know we live in today's world where everybody wants to be big or seem big and what they are. I'm new to this luxury world and I just want to go straight to what my budget can afford. And your essay is going to show you what your budget can afford. And in that situation, you form a conversation with them. Like, you know, I'm new to this brand. Can you give me some history? Can you tell me if I was to step out my budget, what would be a good first pro uh, a good first item? Things like that. Like, establish a history um, with your essay. Because your essay will, well, nine times out of ten, they will keep it real with you. They will, you know, they will let you know, look, this is what's good. This is what's worth it. This is what okay. This is what's trending. If you're going there with a set budget, not going there thinking you're about to spend all your money or waste people's time, you will be fine. Just go in there. This is my set budget. And this is what I want. Okay? What's that? Number three. Number four. Oh, excuse four. me. Number, number four. When you are establishing a relationship with an essay for me i establish a relationship with two essays in the chanel one as two no actually two essays in dior too and i was in there i, I bought i bought so with with my chanel that's how i, I with my essay chanel i bought this Y'all know this this extravagant bag. And everybody was just like, oh my gosh, she's buying this bag. I told the people, y'all are not. <laughs> I ain't who y'all think I am. Okay? I just like this bag and I'm buying it. Like, it ain't like that. It ain't, it ain't like I'm like, no celebrity, no nothing, no, no nothing. But I left a good impression to where my presence was felt. So, long, t long story short, leave your presence. Leave your presence felt at the door because, trust me, your fresh impression will go a long way. Because now I go in that Chanel store and they're like, hey, girl, like, you know, we just kiki, ha, ha, joke, up, joke from time to time. 
sometimes because I work in that area, I just wing past there during my lunch break. And I say hey to everybody. You know, not with even intent to buy nothing, just saying hello, hey. You know, I didn't want nothing. I'm just coming in because I'm walking past, so I'm saying hello. So leave a good impression on your essay, the store people in general, and all that. Because let me tell you something. Just for me being polite and and being um, a, a, a good, positive person, a vibe, I have got, hey, we having a sale this month. Hey, I saw these earrings. Like, I've got good text messages. I've got things in the mail. I've got, like, um, like I told you, I got a free Dior gift. I don't know how I got it, but I'm quite sure with the connect that I got, they must have put my name on the list or whatever, or have, whatever may have you, and I got the free gift. I know Chanel gave me a free magazine. I don't know. I ain't asked no questions, but... I have good essay. I have good essays who are just real cool. I have one. I was going through so much. She sent me a text. So thoughtful, so thoughtful. She sent me a text just saying, "Hey, I'm reaching out." You know, da 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 da. Woo, 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 woo. I turned about and bought her a Starbucks gift card because she didn't have to do that. She didn't have to do that. And on top of that, I was in there to purchase something, and she was like, "Uh uh-uh. uh." Because you you literally just in here last week and you bought a bag. Why are you in here again to buy a bag? And I think I was just going through like a rebellious mood where I just needed to buy something. You knowing I didn't really need it, but I was just like, I just... No, I'm sorry, sure. She was just like, sis, no. Like, put it back. If the price, and I told her, if the price go up anytime soon, let me know. And, you know, I love her. I love her and forgetting the other girl name but i love them both with my chanel friends i love them both because they're like hey girl you know it's just a vibe you have to go in there with a good vibe good intentions i think that was four yeah that was four of was that four vibe anywho more of the story when you are trying to form a relationship with an essay you have to be uh grounded uh positive don't go in there being egotistic don't go in there feeling like they they are beneath you that they need you because they don't need you at the end of the day at the end of the day everybody is still human that is a job to them they don't need you to keep their bills on okay that's that they, they, they don't need they, to keep their lights on they don't need you for that i hear stories how people harass oh don't harass your essays don't listen at the end of the day they are humans they have a life do not harass them do not call them every five minutes do not text them every five minutes do not email them every five minutes if they tell you they're going to let you know when an item come in give them some time people even with my professional as being a makeup artist or wax we can we do not be by these phones 24 7. so you calling and texting us back to back in the nick of time we are dealing with somebody. We have somebody. We're dealing with somebody. Oh, that's my little team attorney. I'm just not seeing that. So if y'all see that, excuse that. We dealing with somebody, and we don't have time to be looking at our phones every five minutes. So don't harass them. That should be even five or six. Okay. Don't harass them, okay? Just give them some time. I say give them a good three weeks. If you ain't heard back from them in three weeks, I'm not even going to say two weeks. A lot of stuff goes down within two weeks. Give them a good three weeks to a month. If you haven't heard back them in three weeks to a month, hey, you know, I hope all is well. Hope all is well. I'm just checking in, you know, saying if you guys have yet got this item I was looking for. I know you guys, I know you are busy, but don't want to bother you, but just checking in, just checking on the status. That's it, that's all. Plain and simple. Have a good day, have a blessed day, however you like to end your progress. But don't harass them. Y'all, they're humans at the end of the day. Okay? They ain't the board of directors of Louis Vuitton. They ain't the damn man. They not the CEO of Louis or Chanel or Dior or Gucci. They just people who work there. They just their nine to five. So don't harass them. Okay. That is all my advice, my tips, tricks, whatever you feel like you learned from today's video. That is all it. I hope you learned a lot from today's video. If I missed anything, if you feel as though that 
um, you know, you have experienced a good essay or a bad essay, comment below. Let me know. But, yeah, that is it. 